What changed Saturday after the first quarter? Uh, honestly, we just had to settle down. Honestly, we were kind of like playing on our heels. We just had to be the uh, hammer in the, instead of the nail. Josh, what were your thoughts on the performance you had against Oklahoma State? They challenged you a lot, but you only allowed so many catches. Uh, I just wish I wouldn't give it a touchdown, but it is what it is. You're, you're, you're happy or not happy with the performance? I mean, I'm I'm thankful, you know what I'm saying, for where I came from, but obviously I want to be I want to be one of the best. So. What's it mean to you guys as a program? I mean, you're part of something special. It's the first time in program history that you guys have beat three ranked teams in consecutive weeks. What, what's that mean to you as a player? Uh, it means a lot. It, it uh, goes kudos to the work we put in, the mindset. Uh, every day we come to work, it's just for us to get better. Have you got a chance to watch much of Kansas State yet? Yes, sir. They have a sound football team. They run what they run. They're not going to change for anybody. Uh, they have a good quarterback. They have good athletes on the perimeter. We just got to make sure we Dad and read our keys and get the ball carried on the ground. Is uh, how how similar the how similar is uh, Martinez to Sanders, the Oklahoma State quarterback? Dual threat, really the legs, but uh, Sanders he puts more like air under the ball, so he has time to recover. Uh, Martinez he's more on the line throw; he doesn't hang the ball in the air. He wants to get complete right now. This. Am I going to ask you to compare what's happened here in the past with? With Coach Dice, what, what do you see with him that makes this work for you guys and for him as a leader? Uh, he's a great facilitator. Uh, he lets his coaches do their jobs. He doesn't try to hound or breathe over nobody's neck. He's just a real relaxed guy. Just full of good energy. Uh, he always tells me, like, take a deep breath before the game. Like, just play your game. Like, he just, like, even, even show. That's what I love about him because it helps me too. I know it, he's had some teams in the past that have had fast starts, but obviously didn't have the depth he has here and didn't right. get the chance. What do you see about this team that you think will allow you guys to sustain what you've already started? Uh, the wanting to come to work, not just saying it's another day at practice, but actually being present, present in practice, being intentional with what we're trying to get done, details, being in our spots, being on our guys, and just being on that, that type of mindset every day, really. Yeah. Back to Kansas State, it's a different challenge for you guys with the type of offense they run. They're more of a, a run team compared to the last few teams y'all faced mm -hmm. that passed the ball a lot. How does that change for you as a cornerback? As a I stick my nose in there. Mm -hmm. That's it. Cold when I need to go, support in the run when it's time to support. Josh, you play against that offense, you know, every day in practice, that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. Quinn's had a, a good couple weeks. As a corner, what makes him such a difficult guard? Uh, I say he's like, he he's he's smart. So you you give him something, he got something for it. He got always got counters. And then he got basketball in him too, so he can he can move, he can shift his weight. Uh, Obviously, he can go high point the ball. We we all seen that the last two weeks. Uh, exceptional route runner, uh, physical when he needs to be. I mean, he's just great work all around the time. I love him against him. So, what was your feeling like as a player when you see that much energy coming from the stadium late in the game against Oklahoma State? How do, how does that help you guys? Oh, it helps us a lot. Like that's what we we count on. As far as like other than ourselves, we count on the fans to help us get an edge or you know what I'm saying, more membership. We need the fans in the, in the game just like we are. So you guys are eighth in the country. Mm -hmm. Have you played your best game yet? Me? No. The team? No. What, what, what can be better? Start fast, playing four quarters of our type of football. I'm pretty sure any other player would say the same thing. I guarantee you that, like 100%. What does that say about this group that has been able to mm -hmm. do what you've done and win these three, five, six games in a row? We, we got a long way to go. We could be even more special. Like way more special. <laughs> My vision for what I see is we can be number one. We just got to work. 
you anticipate that when you got here, or is that something you've seen grow since you've gotten here? It's grown over time. It's kind of hard to see stuff day one, but it's grown over time, definitely. And uh, my confidence in the guys is growing, growing every day as we go. So, the sky's the limit. So oh. we can see. How much do you think your teammates believe the same thing you believe as far as taking it forward? I mean, I put it like this. It takes somebody to believe in it 100% before somebody else does it, because it's kind of like, they kind of shake it. But at the end of the day, as a leader, that's your job for everybody else to, you know what I'm saying, get everybody else to buy in. But as a team, collective group, we're buying in pretty well. We just got to keep buying in to, to the season over, to we get to what we're trying to get. Like, it never stops. Getting better never stops. So we got to always keep trying to put something in the bank, put something in the bank, put something in the bank. Has it changed for you guys, though, when you started the year, you were the guys that were going to be spoiler makers, and now people are going to try to spoil your y'all season being number eight. Does it does it change for y'all the mentality? You know, message to younger guys, anything like that? Uh, it don't change, but we just got to dig deeper, put more quarters of football together. You, you said you went against Quentin. You saw Kendra Miller on too. Mm-hmm. How how hard is it to tackle? I mean, I never had really just, you know, just been an open field, so I really can't speak on that. But he's a raging bull when he run that ball, though. He run with his nose down, his pads low. He run, he trusts his legs, he keeps his feet turning. So I'm pretty sure for other teams, it's kind of, kind of hard to tackle. But personally, I've never been in a situation to like test him or nothing like that. When you see other him run over another defensive back, how does that? Does that fire you up? What, do you feel sorry for the guy trying to tackle? I definitely feel sorry for him, but I really don't. I'm <laughs> trying to win, so if he keep running people over, hey, 